Well, today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about value versus cost. Why you focus on value? What does it even mean? So let's get at it. If you're a window cleaner, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Tons of content for the show. Over six and a half years of it. If you're an OG, then you know exactly what we're going to do. So welcome back. Um, Today, we're talking about value versus cost. And I always talk about this um, to some degree with someone at least once or twice a week. Always. And I figured I'd dive into it again. And we've done a couple shows kind of on the variances kind of of it. But we've talked USP. We've talked about kind of all those specific things. But I want to tell you the difference between value and cost. Or value and price, I should say. And the big, big piece to this, for people, most of us, 90% of companies always look at price. Because we're not our target market, right? So we look at window cleaning. And how many times have you seen this post like, Oh, you know, I was going to do this, but I think it's too much. And I dropped the price to this. I said, if I do it, I do it for this. Do you think that's a good price? What should I charge for this? What should I do for this? Everybody is so focused on price. And they think that price is the exact determining factor that whoever is a penny more is not getting any of the customers, uh, any of that stuff. Now, with full disclosure, if you've been doing this long enough, obviously there are some customers who will only choose the lowest. And just like many of you say, kind of out there is like a badge of honor, I guess, is I'm not really focused on personally being the cheapest. I'm not looking at my window cleaning company being the cheapest one out there because there will always be somebody else who does it cheaper. It does it crappier. And then what am I going to do? Go cheaper than them? And it is a race to the bottom where companies just trying to outbeat each other and being cheapest and all of a sudden you got the $99 guy and the real companies are like, yeah, I don't know how people are doing the work for that. Like I'm spending $50,000 in marketing this year. Like, how, how, how are you being so cheap? It doesn't make sense. Well, they're not marketing. They're not maybe being insured. They're not running workers comp. They're not doing the things legitimately that a legitimate business does. Now, with that being said, you want to be semi in the ballpark of kind of where people are priced wise. If it's, you know, everybody else is at a, you know, $299 job and you come in at like $4,000, you're not going to be able to sell the value. But the value versus the price is absolutely more important. And by the way, I'm going to start off by saying this exact piece here is that If there's one piece of this, there's two, but this is the first one. If you have only the information known, it's price. And that's the only thing you know. Just think of anything. I always give this example. I'll give it again. But if I'm going to sell you something and you have to buy it, you have to buy it. And it's $1, $10, or $1,000. What are you going to buy? Well, none of you in real terms, are going to pay a thousand dollars for what you don't know. All you can do is look at the price, and you look and go, "Well, I don't want to go to the cheapest. I don't know what it is, but I don't always want to buy the cheapest." Some people do. I'll buy that ten dollar one. That, that's a, kind of a safe bet. If you really don't know what it is, then you're going to go cheapest. You know, I don't know what it is. A buck. I'll give you a buck. Figure out what it is. But when you find out it's a brand new Ferrari, now your brain has instantly given you value to a Ferrari. You may not know the exact model. You may not know the anything. You know about where the price is. You know the value of what a Ferrari is. You know how hard it may be to get a Ferrari. You may not even know a ton about it, but you know it's a freaking awesome thing. And you know the value of what you're getting is hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes, you're going to buy two of them at a thousand if you could. So the difference is knowing price versus value is once you know more information, you don't focus on price. A big piece that people get lost in is they don't ever add value. They don't. They don't add real value 
They don't have a USP, a unique selling proposition. There's nothing unique about you, and yet you don't go to bat to tell people why they choose you. And you go, here's the price. And they go, well, I got a cheaper quote. Of course, they don't know anything else. For a customer, 10 companies lined up, in their head, if all they know is price, each person went down the line went, 299, 299, 299, 299, and you couldn't even see the person. All you, you, you just were told what company it was, which company do you wanna go with? It would be the most difficult decision ever. I don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you don't know the value. All you know is the price. When you go down the line and somebody goes, well, I clean windows really good. And the other guy goes, yeah, I clean windows really good too. And um, you know, we take our shoes off. Okay, the value added between those two things, just those two minimally nothing things, always goes to the guy who takes his shoes off. Even if the other guy does, he didn't say it. He didn't add that value. If they both said, I clean good windows, it, it negates it. It takes it both out. Now, the only thing is one guy said nothing and one guy said he takes his shoes off. That guy wins. Now, that's an exaggerated side of this, but that is value. Understand that people need to know what they're getting for their experience, for their money, for their whatever, why they got to choose you. And I talk about USP all the time and it's the saddest thing to me as somebody who really loves business. It is so sad that people do not know what their USP is. They don't know what makes them unique. And why is that sad to me? It's not my business. But the thing is, is that if somebody wants to start a window cleaning company, I think the industry is absolutely amazing. I think there's so much money, so much just camaraderie between people. It's a great industry. I love it. I've been in the industry for a very, very long time. I am more involved in the industry than I probably anybody else in the world from podcasts to videos to how many customers and people I talk to and companies that I help. And with all that being said, I love the industry. I love it. Love it. And I can't tell you how many times I ask, and I'm going to ask this question now. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, this is on the WCR YouTube channel. Um, you can start a thread in a Facebook group about it. You can do any of that stuff. It always helps me out, obviously. If you're commenting on the video, I will get back and comment back to you. But I always ask people, what is your USP? What's your unique selling proposition? And every time I ask that, every time, people comment, and I'm gonna tell you, by me saying this next part, there will be less comments on this YouTube video than ever. People will be too scared to comment. But people put stuff that doesn't make them unique. They go, oh man, well, we are just, we're way nicer than those other guys. We're, we're super nice. You know, we're, no, you're, you're nice. The other guys say they're nice. We're talking to people who do not know you. You're not, you're not, under, well, once they get to know me, they're, we're talking about why does a customer buy you in the first place? Why do they buy your services? What makes you unique to tell them? And so many of you go, well, I mean, you know, we're fully insured and, you know, we, uh, we've been cleaning a long time and... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that out of the 70,000 window cleaning companies in the country, I'm pretty sure there's companies that have been cleaning a longer than you, or they are insured like you, or they may have a guarantee like you, or they may have logoed shirts like you, right? Remember, if guy one says, I clean good windows, and the guy two says, I clean good windows, it negates it, it washes it out, and it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't make you unique anymore. If every person in the line, price is the same, 299, 299, 299, 299, 299, 299. Okay, now it's impossible to pick someone because they're all the same. Now each person goes on, okay, I clean windows really well. I clean windows really well. I clean windows really, okay, goes all the way. And just like price, it negates everything. No choice has been made now because they all say the exact same thing. Now, in the same theory, Imagine if half of them said, I clean windows really well, or all of them said it and had other things. It takes away everything 
accept what makes them unique. Value is, what do I get for, for buying you? If you're the same price as the other guy, and you both clean windows, and I know nothing else about you, why would I choose you? Why would I choose you? If there's 10, of pe 10 people lined up, they all have the same dollar amount, they all same everything, it is impossible to make a decision. The same reason is why would they buy you if you're the exact same as the other guy? And that's where USP comes in. So many people are just, they're either scared to come up with a real USP or they try to pull it out of their, their you know, out of thin air. I, I, you know, I, I got a rain guarantee. Does anybody else have? Nope, no one else has one. Really? How would you possibly, you, you've checked everything on everyone? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. If that's right and you're the only one with a rain guarantee, perfect. Is that one thing that makes you unique, that one little piece, enough value to have them choose you? Well, sometimes, but we're going for value. We're going for $1,000 for a brand new Ferrari. Okay, perfect. If that makes you unique or a combination of things makes you unique, right? Of course, you're fully insured. So is everybody else. But if that's all they have and you say it on top of everything else, it negates it all, but it adds to that of what you have. Making you unique is where we are looking for. And th this whole thing of window cleaning, yes, results in clean windows, which is a luxury. Fight me all you want on that. It's a luxury, not a need. So people are looking for the experience. So once you figure out what makes you unique, and this takes time to really dive in and like what makes you unique, and I cannot have something I will find out is unique, it has to be face value unique. Well, my staff is amazing. They're trained by me. I don't know who you are. I, I, I mean, every person's trained. That's not unique. I mean, unique that it's actually by you, but. I can't see that at face value. Unique at face value is what adds to it. Now, we're going back into the luxury mindset in services. Now, if you're a heating and air guy, well, that's a need. What's not a need for them is the least popular service, which is tune-ups. Tune-ups are technically not needed, so people don't always do them. But if my heat goes out right now and it is 10 degrees, I need you here now. I need you here. I'm not gonna ask price. I need you. It's done, just get it done. If my heart is failing, and if I don't have surgery, I will die, and you say you do surgery, you're a surgeon, I'm gonna go with you. I may even look up like reviews on people. Again, what makes them unique? But I am not gonna be asking price. I'm not gonna be choosing the cheapest heart surgeon to save my life. That's a need. Now, when you get into a luxury, there are luxury products out there. Again, we could talk cars because it's kind of a uniform platform. I'm not a huge car guy. It's just what I use. But you know that there is Bugatti and Ferrari, like I mentioned, Lamborghini and Rolls Royce. And all these luxury brands. The luxury brands are out there. Are you or I ever going to buy a Lamborghini? I hope if that's what your goal is, you make it happen, but that's not my goal. I'm not going to spend $300,000 on a car. Just not going to happen. So I'm not the target market for that. You may not be the target market for that. But at face value, why does someone choose a Lamborghini over a Ferrari? What's the value? They're both extremely expensive cars that I know nothing about. I like Lamborghinis. That's kind of one of my go-tos. I would probably buy that just because when I was a kid, I just always thought it was awesome. I know no real value between the two. So my experience of having a Lamborghini beats out the rest of them only for the fact that it's in my head. It's my value. That's the same thing with your company. Obviously, you're not Lamborghini or Ferrari, but the reason they choose you is this whole experience that they get with it. When you go to a high-end car dealer, 
The doors are locked. A guy like comes, greets you, hands you champagne. Let's walk, let's talk. Maybe you're, you're sipping champagne, smoking a cigar, walking through their showroom. If you're to that level, that's your experience. Your experience. If you're going to look at million dollar yachts, that's your experience. If you're looking for $10 million apartments in New York, you're going to take a helicopter to go look at this stuff. You fly around. Come on. We'll take you out. We'll bring you. We'll see the skyline from the air. We'll show you the outside of these places, and then we'll go tour them. It is not because looking at an apartment from a helicopter makes you see more. It is the experience of doing it. Now, before I get on a, a tangent here, um, I have to go into the sponsor of the show, which is me. I sponsor the show. <laughs> but I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's a window cleaning resource. It is the greatest place to buy window cleaning supplies. And I am the greatest rep you could possibly deal with. Now, I know there's other reps, but what do I add for value? I make your job absolutely easy, and I answer any and all of your questions and I will give you real answers every single time to every one of your questions. And I want to be your rep. I want to be your rep. And I love adding value to this content. I love that you're watching or listening to this. And for me, I hope I added enough value for you to let me place your orders for you. And if so, which I hope so, uh, my number direct is 862-312-2026. I'm the only jersey you know, so save it. Next time you have an order, literally you can shop, put it in your cart. Instead of clicking checkout, just click save this cart and then text me. Be like, yo, jersey, everything is good. I will verify your address because I do every time. Make sure everything looks good. If you got questions on the order, adding things, oh, by the way, add one of these and that. Cool. I can do all of that for you. And I can make it easy. I could save everything else. It's done through a text and it costs you nothing extra, not one penny more. It costs you not one penny more to have more value buying from me than buying through the site alone. And you got somebody in your back pocket. So hopefully uh, that's it. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of the awesome people anyway. Uh, Dylan Marmot, what's up? Jonathan Richards, of course, uh, he is an OG. Uh, Joshua Willis and Robert Howell, just a few of the people who uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to put orders in for. So thank you to you guys uh, in general. And if you haven't yet gotten a subscription to the AWC Magazine, go and do that. I own the magazine also, so I see when you come in. Go to awcmag.com forward slash sub. Get a subscription, 69 bucks. Get it. It helps the industry, amazing writers, amazing pictures, amazing articles, amazing stickers. It is all super awesome and mailed to your door. It's a real magazine, not just a PDF that you go online and look at. So if you do, go and do that. I would love, love nothing more. So go and check that out. Anyway, so back to the value versus price kind of dilemma. I always have to say in this, I always say be friends with your competition. That's a great, great thing you should be doing. But I also, in this side of it, think, just like everything, that you still need to always compare yourself to the other guy. And not that what he's doing is always right, but what he's doing could affect you. If somebody's calling him and you, this is why we do phone bids, We can explain our value USP right over the phone, book everything, make it simple, get them done. Now they're not calling somebody else. But if you're not doing phone bids, I don't even know what you're doing anymore. But if you're not doing phone bids um, and you are um, um, slowing your progress and um, lowering your close rate by doing so, they're calling somebody else. And if they call him, they find out his value and all of a sudden you don't make sense. If one guy says, I am $2.99 and I clean good windows, you go to another guy and goes, hey, I am, what did I say, $1.99, $2.99, whatever it was, and I clean windows, same price, I also clean windows, but we have a seven-day rain guarantee. We're fully insured and carry a $5 million aggregate policy, so you're protected. Not only are all of our techs logoed, 
lettered and uniformed, but they all have name badges with their pictures so you know exactly who's coming to your house. Our trucks are all lettered and logoed so when they're there, you know you are with a company you can trust. Not only that, but we make sure everything is done for you beautifully. We walk through your entire project for you every single time when we're done. And if you see any spot streak or smear any time of day, we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Now, you can go in and all of that, but all of those things that I just said are more than likely pretty relatively common. But that combination is putting people at ease. It's the reason that when you see infomercials, which I know are, are hokey, but they're the most psychological buying processes that exist. When you see them, they're always adding more. Well, act right now and you'll get a second one absolutely free. Just pay a separate postage. You've seen that, right? But wait, there's more. All of those things are added there so that you look at it in the first place to show you everything. They exaggerate. Oh, it's so hard to wash a car, but with this new thing, it's way easy. Look at me, I'm happy. And my picture's in color instead of black and white when I throw everything over and get covered in suds. What they do is they're creating a pain point. They're exaggerating it so you get the pain point faster. That sucks washing a car. It's, it's, it's tough, right? It's hard washing your windows. You're gonna take your whole weekend away from your family, maybe away from the golf. The golf course is calling you, right? Apple picking with your family is calling you. Have us clean your windows, get your weekends back, right? That piece is value. The value is the feeling. The value is what you're offering. The value is all of those other things that come in and why they choose you instead of somebody else. When you add value, it's the weight, but there's more. They didn't discount the price anymore. The price was the price. They start off and go, get all this now for $29.99. And they want your brain to be like, oh, it's not a bad price. That's a, uh, but wait, there's more. And you're like, there is? Value, they start adding all this other stuff. You're getting all, they knew that stuff was already there. It was already in the price. It was already in everything. But they showed you this and then told you, but you get all of this. How many times have you seen an infomercial where they say, buy this pan now and it's only, you know, $29.99. And you're like, a pan for $29 is not bad. But wait, there's more. And you get $70 worth of more stuff. And you're like, how, what, how? The value is there. When a pan company goes and they say, well, you have a 10 year warranty. If any coating comes off or scratches or whatever, we'll send you a brand new one for free. Now, I'm not getting into infomercials and the weirdness of that, but if you remember back in the day, there was something called the Miracle Blade. Man, I remember this commercial because it was lifetime sharpness, guaranteed. If this nice ever get dull, send them back. We'll uh, send you a brand new, whatever it is. Well, the company ended up going out of business. They got to a certain point and then folded however they did that. And I don't know the logistics of it, but uh, they get out of all of that. But the knives were really great out of the box. And then after like a year, like every other knife ever, they get dull because it's a knife. Oh like, yeah, oh, well, now I got to go through all this stuff. To give it. But at the time... You're like, well, why would I buy any other knife when these ones are lifetime guaranteed sharpness? Lifetime guaranteed sharp. I just doesn't make sense. Why would I get anything else? In value versus cost, it has to be stupid for anybody to buy anywhere else than with you. Let me explain this part of it. But I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com and there's a bunch of us, right? I happen to be into sales myself, and I'm part of some sales groups out there, Facebook sales groups and things like that, just basically other salespeople kind of, you know, just talking, just like anything. When you're into something, you, you kind of surround yourself and put it out, same reason I read uh, audio or listen to audio books and all that stuff, right? But there was a guy out there, and his name was um, Drewby, and I know, weird name, right? But by the way, you remember it. But he posted on everything. 
He was always there. And when I went to go and do, uh, be coached by them, I thought, well, I'm going to call him. Like, I didn't think I'm going to call a company. I'm going to call him because he's had so much value. He's the guy. Like, that, it's him. When you're talking about value versus price and people put it, everything up to the line, you have to be so valuable. It's so much value added that you would think in your head, well, it would be stupid to buy anybody else. Of course I'm getting this guy. Like, of course. It, the decision is made because of the value. If you have value added, you're not bickering on price. When there are people out there on the on the Facebook groups, which my nemesis of all things anyway is the Facebook group sometimes, but there's one guy who drives me absolutely bonkers. And one of the things he says is like, I can't get the, I, I, my area is so hard, I can't even get this price. And it's half the price of national average of a window. I just can't get it. And then the second one, he's talking about how amazing he is and all this other stuff. And then he posts prices and you're like, what are you doing? You can't get it. Not because somebody is cheaper. No one's even close to you. You can't get it because you've devalued yourself so much. It's not about price anymore. It's like, well, why am I buying this crap? Like, it's so cheap. It doesn't make sense. All these other guys add all this stuff. You just clean and you're cheap. Like, you will not sell people because you're the cheapest. Like, you will by selling yourself because you're the most valuable. Now... If you're the most valuable, you can also charge more. How many times? This is ever absolutely every one of you. Somebody has said, hey, you know what? I'm going to go with you. You know, I, you're not the cheapest, but I'm, I get a good feeling with you. I think, how many people? Think about it. Raise your hand in your head right now. How many people have heard that? I've heard that hundreds of times over my life, probably. You're not the cheapest, but, you know, I like what you're doing. I really like you. I think we're going to... If you're a window cleaner or whatever service provider it is, the value that's added is why that happens. People go, no, it's me. Okay, they might get a good feel. You've talked to them, so you've given them more than just a price. But it's not that you talk to them or that you're nice. Everybody thinks, oh, it's because I'm nice. Yeah, lots of people are nice. Every person I've ever hired has been nice. Well, no, my customers need me. No, they don't. They have you now, so they like you. They're not going to ever not like you. But if you get somebody that's also awesome, they're going to like them. And they're going to forget about you because you are not the one that shows up. You are not at all the reason somebody chooses you in the first place. Now, there may be the reason that you stay connected, right? We talk about getting repeat business, why somebody wants to repeat. Now they fall in love with you and you're a person and there's a whole other thing. But the initial part of why they buy from you, it's not just because it's you. Unless there's two of you standing there, one guy's like, ah, no. yeah, you know, we, uh, we'll do it, yeah. And then you're like, oh, yeah, absolutely, we can. And then now there's an easy comparison that maybe. But with all of that, it's the reason. The reason they choose you is the value over cost. So many people out there, and you've seen it, and you mock them and laugh at them, but you're probably doing it yourself. Focus on the price. They don't explain something. I don't know what a Ferrari is, but why would I pay $1,000 for it? I don't know Ferraris. I don't sell Ferraris, but I could tell you, I could explain to you why that value makes sense. As could you, and you probably don't know cars either. If you do, then you could really tell the value. Value versus price is what's missing because people are scared to do their USP. I want to know what your USP is. If you've made it this far in the video, I will know you did by commenting on YouTube with the words USP, or the letters USP, and tell me your USP. I'll know you made it this far to the very end of the show. And uh, if you comment, I want to I want to respond to you, also. So I am going to say, if you comment on YouTube, I will personally respond to you. Just so you know. Anyway, value versus cost, value versus price. Price is absolutely not a thing in a luxury business. Like I said, you can't be $4,000 and everybody else is 50 bucks. You can't be that far out unless your value is absolutely that, right? But with value beating price every time, 
So many people just aren't focused on value, but everybody worries about price. What price should I, where should I price? With the price, to, when does anybody add value? When does anybody jump on any group ever and be like, hey guys, like I'm good on my price, but what, what can I add as value? How many times have you seen that? I see price things online 20 times a day. I see value things online zero times a month. And if you're in business, you have to focus on that because 99% of people don't. If you're the 1% that focus on the value over price, you will kill it because 99% of the people means everybody else in your market, everybody else in your area. They're focused on price. They're focused on something completely different. You're focused on value. That's why you win. That's why this year is going to be absolutely epic for you. So anyway, shameless plug number two of the day. I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what I do. It's how I make money. And how do I make money? By putting in your orders. And literally, I just place the order for you. It's as easy as hitting checkout. You hit uh, my text. Hey, everything's in the cart. I verify whatever. If you got questions, please call me. Text me. You guys know I'm on the phone all the time, every day. But text, I text with 50 people a day. Text me if you got questions. I would love to be your helper. I would love to help you do everything. That's what I do. So do that, 862-312-2026. Get a subscription to the magazine, AWC, the American Window Cleaner Magazine. Uh, Get a subscription, 69 bucks. Do it, please do it. Um, And then a side note, I have a personal YouTube channel. Also, you may be listening, more people listen to this on uh, audio than, than YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, you think about it, search out Jersey Nation. And that is my YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow that and my subs are slow because I'm new in that side of it. I'm creating more content, trying to put out videos more regularly there also. And they're just, uh, it's just a lot of fun things that I get to do to kind of help. So go do that. I'm I'm looking for subs. Sub, it's free. It would make my day. And until next week, go out there and figure out your USP. Tell me what your USP is. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.